everyone, welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are looking at Perfectly Plaid with the lovely coordinating punch. You can get it in a bundle, which is absolutely fantastic. All the details to buy it will be below. Um, so check it out um, because it's a lovely set. You've got all of these different sort of styles of trees. You've got lots of Christmas sentiments. Um, you've got little pine cones and things. So there's a lot to play with with this one. And we are going to do um, another. I know I did the um, the last video was um, a wallet and gift card holder and it was all sort of folding and stuff well I've come up with an idea which is even simpler and is more of a card so I thought we would have a go at doing that today because with the, um, Christmas or even birthdays and things you don't have to do it with this particular um, stamp set you can do it with any stamp set you want um, you can uh, um, you can style it how you want. I'm just going to show you the idea. Sorry, I was just grabbing my bone folder because I've forgotten it. So you need a piece of cardstock, which is a standard sheet um, cut in half as your normal card base. You are then going to score it down the centre as you normally do. And that will then give you your um, that will then give you your card base which you fold in half along those score lines and um, you've then got your card base. Okay, so a standard card base. Doesn't matter whether you are UK or you are international, this will work um, for both. Then you need to score it the opposite way and you need to score it one and an eighth inches either side now for me in the UK that is scoring it at three inches and five and a quarter inches but as long as you get your distance level from the center whatever card size you're using so you can make it bigger you can make it smaller um, you are going to get that to work perfectly so then if we turn it over on that score line, which we've done in the opposite direction, we're going to fold the first piece just across and just burnish it down. And then we're going to fold the other piece up and just make sure that it comes just tight. If your paper isn't cut exactly straight, it doesn't matter because as long as you score it evenly on there, you're going to be fine. So basically what you've done is you've given yourself a like a like a double, um, you know, like a sort of a, um, a valley and a mountain in the center. So that piece is going to go across down on here and that's going to give you your um, your um, place to put your um, note, your money or your um, what are they called? Gift cards. OK, so the first thing we need to do is we need to adhere this piece together. So I'm just going to get some wet glue. You can use tear and tape. You can use snail. You only need to glue this on one side because it will then go up. And as long as you've got your, as I always say, your edges nicely done. And then you're just going to fold it over. And if you put it down on here, you can just make sure that you're burnishing it that nicely so it will um, it will then fold nicely in on the inside. OK, now we need to get and as I say, don't worry too much about the measurements if you got lost. I will put them to a link over onto my blog and put them below so you don't have to worry. But it's very simple. Now, what I've taken is I have gone with um, one of my favourite Christmas papers, which is the lovely Tartans. 
and I'm just going to put this down on here so I can show you. Um, I've been using this quite a lot. It's called Wrapped in Plaid, Plaid, wherever you come from, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and in the UK, it's tartan. So um, you can see I've shown you this before, but I'll just do a quick flip through. You have got lovely tartan patterns on one side and on the other side you've got lovely Christmassy patterns and patterns for other times of the year so lots of things going on stockings and things like that so beautiful paper it's six by six but that's absolutely perfect for this now we need um, you will need two sheets because it just comes over one sheet so you need a piece which is going to be a quarter of an inch smaller says me I need to trim that one down a bit because I haven't cut that small enough um, so you need two pieces one to go on that uh, sorry one to go on the outside of the card and then you're going to have another that's going to go on the inside here and then you're going to cut another piece which is seven eighths of an inch and again, that should be at five and three quarters. Now, I just need to get my trimmer out. Uh, my lovely new trimmer. Which I absolutely adore. Um, I really do love it. it is, it's, it's so good. And I'm just going to trim these pieces down. Let me just get this in. It won't fit completely onto my screen, but hopefully you'll get a bit of an idea. So we are just going to just take this down to... Right, that's five and three quarters. So it just needs to come down by another um, eighth of an inch because we don't want it too big. So we're just taking a little tiny sliver off of there. Let's see if that's um, if that's better. As I say, it depends how you've cut your card. Um, and I think this one is probably just a shy short, so I was probably doing something else with a little piece. But let's have a look and see what we're doing, how we're doing it on here. Let me just take that. That's perfect now. Right, so I just need to do the little centrepiece as well while I've got it. And we'll just take that one shy of five and three quarters. So just I'm just doing it by like an eighth of an inch. Let's move this out of the way. Doing my normal cack-handed bit. Um, so let's get that again. Five and three quarters take it down by an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch it only needs to be a tiny weeny little bit so again you know if you need to trim it up a little bit do so but that should work perfectly now so let's just move that out of the way um, I'll take those little scrappy pieces off in a minute but uh, um, I'm really, really enjoying this trimmer. It cuts absolutely beautifully. So we are going to put one piece in on the front. So let's do that. Um, again, if you've got a, um, a piece which is, um, you know, quite patterned, um, make sure that you've got it all facing in the right direction because these will work for little birthdays, um, anniversaries, um, any other time of the year. Just choose whatever stamp set and whatever um, pattern paper or designer series paper that you would like. So I've gone for this sort of Christmassy one because I've got quite a few people that um, I will be sending cards to um, with little gift cards and things in or with money. So we've got that piece on the front like that. Then in the, on the inside on our flap here, we are going to have this piece like this. So this is the one which is um, seven eighths of an inch. So it's just shy of the inch. But again, do it whatever size you want. You only want a little piece to sort of tuck in. I always think it's quite nice to, um, to have the gift card 
all the uh, um, your money showing. Um, you know, I know you can make envelopes and you can sort of tuck them all away, but I quite like it when it's showing. And then we're going to tuck this piece is going to go on to the other side. So again, I'm using my wet glue because that's my preferred. And then this piece can tuck in on this side. And again, just get your border as straight as you can. With my lights, it's always quite difficult. I always say that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to adhere this piece down, but we're only going to, you can see you've got your little sort of board around here. Um, we are just going to put the Tombow just, just literally in a line down each side so literally just as near to the edge as you can and you're just doing it on those two pieces and then we can fold that down you need to hold it for a second because uh, um, wet glue takes um, a moment to dry but it's probably the best to use if you use um, tear and tape or something you don't want it to come too far up into um, the card because otherwise you won't get fine if you're just putting um, note card um, gift cards in but if you're trying to put in um, money it's not going to fit so that now goes on there and I'm, I'm not going to stick my fingers in it for a moment until it's completely dried but then that goes on top. So we've got our, our, our basic part. Now, I'm going to put a sentiment in in the centre. And I like this. May this special season be wrapped in love and joy. So I'm going to take that one. And we're going to put that just in on the centre here. So there's room to put your, um, your own message. Um, and again, you could put a birthday one or whatever occasion you were doing this for. But I'm doing it with, and I just need to get some cherry cobbler, which I've got over here. So I'm trying to sort of coordinate it with the same colours. One of the nice things about all of the Stamping Up products is that everything coordinates beautifully. So if I had my grid paper, I could line it up perfectly, but because it's photopolymer, you can actually see through. So I'm just going to stamp that in the center like that. And you've got, may this special season be wrapped in love and joy, which I think is rather nice. So let's just do that one in there. I'm gonna clean my, always try and clean my, stamps as I go um, and you will find as I as I always say that you will get slight staining particularly with the reds the reds seem to be the ones that uh, um, that stain more than others but um, but that's just um, makes absolutely no difference to the stamp at all so um, right so we've got that bit in there now there will be when you've trimmed things down, there will be some scraps that are left over, little tiny scraps. Now, these are, they're not the same size and I don't want them to be the same size because they're just little scraps. And um, so they're the tail end bits that you cut off. But I think that they make quite a nice little um, border to go round. So I'm just putting some Tombow on. So this one is probably, oh, I don't know. Um, eighth of an inch something like that whatever the little tiny um, scrappy piece that you've got left over and then we're just going to take that right up at the top because that just makes it look quite pretty and with the wet glue you can ease it up so that you have it right at the top there and then I'm going to put this other little piece down at the bottom. So we're not wasting anything at all, apart from that hair's whisker that I had to trim off because I'd um, my paper was a little bit shorter than, uh, than I thought it was. 
so and we'll put this one down here at the bottom so then that's the inside finished so that goes on there so that the inside looks really nice because you've got those little pieces on there now let's work on the front so I have already prepared and I've done the Merry Christmas from this set which is this one and I've just cut it out in um with one of the with the um the is it the smallest I will check for you so you can you know exactly but these are the stitched rectangles you can use whatever shape you want um and I have used yes the 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 smallest one and the one up from the smallest one I've just done in the cherry cobbler to just um coordinate with it so we can have that on there and you can decorate it as you want. I'm just showing you an idea. So um, we'll put this one on top. The nice thing is that that particular rectangle um, fits perfectly on that border. Then I've cut one of the, it's the largest circled, um, sorry, ovaled um, stitch shapes. And I'm going to put that down on there. And then we are going to, because we've got quite a large piece of the other um, the other sheet, because we needed two sheets of the 6x6, six because six, we've got quite a large piece left over, I'm actually going to do one of the trees with the punch, and I'm going to take it as far over to the edge so I'm not wasting any, and I can use it again for other things, and just punch that out. And then that can go in the centre like that. And then I could put another one in behind or I could put another one in in front. Am I going to do some stamping with one? Um, that might be quite nice, mightn't it? Why don't we do a... Um, oh, I don't know which one to choose now. Um, I think we might do... the little one on here I quite like this one so this little one is and you can choose any one you want this is the little one with the, um, the sort of different colored ones so I'm just going to take my block again um, I need another little scrap of paper so let's use this little scrap piece that I've got here um, now I need to stamp this out in what color shall I do do it in um, I think I'm going to do it in the cherry cobbler because I'm just going to do it just as a um, as a little silhouette um, and not color it in you can do it in um, crumb cake or something like that and you can then turn round and color in the leaves um, so if you wanted the leaves in a different colour, you can colour it in. But I'm just going to have it as it is because I quite like that, um, just that little line on it. And I think it'll work um, and not overpower everything else. So let me just clean that off again as I always try and clean it off. Keep things nice and tidy. Let's get the punch out again. really nice this punch lines up beautifully and you've got all of the little sort of branchy pieces on there so let's get that in there stamp that out oh yes that's going to look quite nice because that'll go with the thing on the front so I've done two um, you can do as many as you want so let's um, let's get to put these down so I'm again I'm just doing it with um, in fact let's get this one I forgot I hadn't glued that one down so um, you can add ribbon you can add other things you can decorate it as you would any card so um, once you've put your paper in you know go to town with with whatever you want um, and as I say if you want to make it an anniversary just put an anniversary statement on there um, or sentiment if you want to make it a birthday just put a birthday one on but it's a great way of just being able to put a gift card or some money and it will fit both now um if you're 
international. I'm not sure of the size of um, your dollar bills and, and, and above. So you might have to make it a little bit um, longer. Um, I'm doing it because I'm obviously in the UK. So for a UK market, it works perfectly. Now, which way round? I think I'm going to do it that way and that way. I think that will work perfectly. I like the, the, the two together. So yes, I'm going to put, um, and I'm not going to put any dimensionals up on this one. I'm just going to keep it completely flat. You can, uh, if you want to, you can add the dimensionals, but um, if I'm sending a gift card and I'm going to post it, um, I'm always mindful that postage costs can be quite expensive. So we'll put this one in and we'll tuck it so that it goes literally just to the dots on that side. And then we'll take the other one and we'll do it to the dots on the other side. And then I will show you the other ones that I've done because I did some with some retard paper because it's the sort of thing that if you've got paper over, just make it with the, um, with the paper over that you've got the rights on to tuck that one in so that that literally just comes in on that piece like that. There we go. And you can, you can put some more twinklies and things in there. But I think uh, um, this would work actually quite well um, for a neutral um, card. So one for a male. And then you've got the inside opening up. And I will turn around and show you. Let me just grab my, grab my purse. Grab the other two that I've done so you can see those. So um, if we turn around and take, let's have a look and take... Um, some money out of here okay so I have got um, I've got a £10 note which you can see fits in quite nicely and I've got a £5 note which will go in on top quite nicely I mean here is 5, 10, 15, £25 pounds. Um, so you know if you wanted to put quite a bit in there you've got enough room to fit a few notes quite nicely if you want to put in, now I haven't got any gift cards at the moment, so I'll just put in um, a card that I've got, my, uh, my faithful Sainsbury's card. Again, that will fit in quite nicely. So you can fit a gift card, you can fit money in there, um, however you want to do it. And I will show you the, um, the other two that I did, which are just a little bit different with a bit of bling. Um, this one I did exactly the same with a Merry Christmas. I used some punches, used some retard paper, used the um, lovely sprig punch and just punched it out with uh, um, a bit of sparkle. Um, non Christmassy colours on here because I fancied doing that. And then inside we've got May this season be wrapped in love and joy again. And you've got your pocket in there for your card Um and then I did another one and I just toned that in. Again, retard papers, retard glimmer paper, but the brand new penguin. Um, and I just toned that in, put a little bit of a, a again, retard ribbon in there. Um, but that's got another flavour. And again, on the inside, little pieces at the top and the bottom. So you've got sort of three ideas there, which would work for, you know, a, a, a masculine one, a um, more of a, a young person's one, um, a, a very pretty sort of girly one. It's entirely up to you. Just change your papers, um, change your stamps, and you've got a really nice, um, another way of doing a gift card very simply, but making it as a card as well. And obviously it'll fit into a standard side envelope. So thank you so much for watching me. Do look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.